up, fall? The leaves are changing, which means we need some new fall decorations. And I really want to extend this wall right over here for a little table with some decorations. So I take a piece of foam board, make a mark at 17 and a half inches, cut on the line drawn, repeat to make two, glue them together to make a corner so the wall can stand. Cover it with poster board, bending it around the corner, creating a smooth look. I printed out the door from our BTS dynamite room, cut it out, glue it onto the wall. This door is in two parts, so we just have to line them up to get the full height. Cut half inch strips of foam board, glue them around the door, framing it to make it feel a little more 3D. Add more foam board around the bottom of the wall for baseboards. Creating a corner wall that we can place next to the door to expand our dollhouse. So now we have a little room over there, our front door, and an entryway. This looks like the perfect place to display some fall decorations. So let's make an entryway table. I am going to modify the desk from our BTS Dynamite room. Take the template and cut out the front of the desk without the lower drawers. Cut out the other pieces, glue them onto foam board, cut them out. I use the front of the desk to cut another piece in black. Then I cut a piece that is seven inches by one and three quarters. Cut out the printables that look like wood. I'm not going to need this drawer right here at the bottom. So I'm just gonna cut right here all the way across. Cut the tabs smaller on the sides. Fold over the side tabs, these two lower drawers, and the top. Place the front of the desk in between the lines. Then we're gonna just glue that in place. So we have a line at the top and two drawers. Cover the desk top, the desk legs, and the seven by one and three quarter inch piece. Once everything is covered, we can assemble the table. Take the front of the desk, glue it onto the top corner of the legs, glue the black strip in the back, glue the seven inch piece underneath, then glue on the top for an easy entryway table that fits perfectly on this wall. Let's make fabric covered pumpkins using wooden beads. Make sure the bead is large enough to fit a wooden dowel. I'm gonna use this blue fabric, green ribbon, and a stick. Take some fabric, place the bead in the center, pull the fabric around it, closing it in on the inside, pinch it, then trim off the excess. Let's trim it down a little more, because that's a lot of bulk. Make sure the center of the bead is facing up. Use the wooden dowel to tuck the fabric into the center. I am purposely making little pleats. So we have that kind of a pumpkin effect. Cut a small piece of ribbon, and I'm cutting the ends at an angle. Place the ribbon on top, then take a small stick and push it through the center for an easy, no sew, no glue covered pumpkin. Inspired by Pinterest. If we want to change the shape a little, we can add some fluff around the bottom, then pull the fabric up and push it in with the wooden dowel to make a variety of different sizes. For our next project, we're using recycled paperboard, an empty glue stick to trace, recycled paper, hot glue sticks, black thread, and paint. Start by tracing the glue stick onto paperboard, cut them out, stack and glue a few together, make two, cut a strip of recycled paper, roll it around a wooden dowel, use glue to secure the end to make a paper tube. Add thinner strips of paper to create a design. 
glue the paper tubes between the paperboard, paint it, allow them to dry. While waiting, cut a large glue stick, use a glue gun to melt the center, then drag the glue down the sides. Place black thread into the glue, trim off the excess to make candles. Place them on top of the candle holders to add some candles to our decor. Now we need some foil paper, paperboard, hot glue, and paint. Trace something round on the paperboard. I made another circle on the inside. Cut it out. Use it as a guide to make a few more. Stack and glue them together. Use hot glue to add texture. I'm just gonna make a whole bunch of little glue dots. I covered the whole thing, leaving a little bit of space between each one. Allow it to dry. Then I'm gonna go back and add some more. That's pretty cool. It looks like there's beads all over it. I kind of like it like this, but you know, to stick with my theme, I have to paint it. I'm using a gold paint, allow it to dry, take the foil paper and cut out a circle, glue it behind the frame. We can also use tape to secure it to the back. Use poster putty to attach it to the wall for a mirror. Take paperboard and cut out another circle, paint it brown, glue on twigs, add ribbon, Let's add some artificial leaves. Add some covered pumpkins to make a wreath. Glue on a piece of ribbon to hang it over the door. I added a few decorations to the other side for weight to help it hang securely. Let's take a pencil and paper. Cut the paper into a two inch strip and two one and a half inch strips. Roll the two inch piece around the pencil. Use glue to secure the end, then remove it from the pencil. Take the one and a half inch strip and wrap it around the bottom. I added several layers to get the desired thickness. Glue it onto paperboard. Trim off the excess. Use hot glue to add details. Paint it. Dry brush it with a little gold paint. I bought these sticks at the craft store and they have these little curly parts to them. I'm going to cut them off and place them inside the paper tubes. Ooh, it's all twisted. And they add some height to our decor. Now let's take some leftover paperboard, cut it into three by two and a half inch rectangles, stack and glue them together to make like a paperboard brick. Sand the edges smooth. Then we're going to paint it. Use a pencil to sketch out a phrase. Go over it with paint. I used a dark brown paint. I'm going to sand the edges to distress it a little. Try to remove some of that paint to make a fall greeting for when the dolls walk through the door. So today we made an entryway table a wreath, covered pumpkins, candlesticks and candles, a mirror, vases with sticks, and a sign. Bringing us to a total of seven fall-inspired crafts for the dollhouse, of course. Thank you for joining us while we did a little miniature decorating for fall. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff and the frog vlog and we will see you next time